This has probably been one of the most crazy weeks on the internet I've seen in a long time, okay? Not only did Nico Avocado make a return video, which seems like he had lost a crazy amount of weight. <laughs> I don't know how he was able to do this in such a short period of time, but he was able to. But we had Dr. Disrespect making a comeback, and we had Amberlynn Reed making an entire video with her and her, her, new, her new girlfriend. And, and there was some foodie beauty stuff. It's just been... Oh, it's just been so much delicioso drama. But if you guys weren't aware, Nico Avocado made a video after seven months of a hiatus. And a lot of people uh, were very surprised to see that he has a major, major, major uh, body transformation. About Looks to be about 250 pounds of weight loss, which is insane. Um, 250 pounds in seven months is incredible. I don't think it was actually seven months. A lot of people have been presuming that a lot of the videos that he had uploaded seven months ago where maybe probably pre-uploaded and he was just periodically uploading them over time, which probably makes a little bit more sense because seven months, 250 pounds is really crazy. Um, so it's probably more close to about a year to 10 months, but even that, a year to seven, uh, a year to seven months on any weight loss on that, and that this particular uh, scale is is actually insane. I, I almost can't even believe that's possible. Just to let everybody know, this was him seven months ago, okay? Went back before he lost his weight. As you can see, the, the face has uh, drastically changed. I do, It's actually insane the amount of weight that he's lost, actually seeing it from the face. But uh, this is what he was doing seven months ago. I'm going to do my Walmart inventory check. By the way, if you guys didn't know, the Nico Avocado, this, this, this right here, was a character. This was a character. This is a persona that he was putting on. I know there are a lot of people out there that thought that this was, like, the way he acted. No, this is not the way he acted, obviously. This is just, like, what he did for the camera. And if you are a mother... That means you make milk. And if you make milk, you are a cow. Moo! Oh. Jeepers creepers. Are you a cow, Matilda? Are you a shrimp, Miranda Thrimp? Are you a cow, Bessie Harris? You are a cow, you lady Heidi. Milk, milk. Just for the money, bruh. Just for the money. Doing all this just for the money. People have done worse. People have done worse for less. It is what it is. Um, this is the goal. This is the lifestyle he wanted to live. Can you touch my face again? I just want I just wanted to show this because the before and after right I just I just wanted to show this real quick I don't know I'm sorry dude I don't know what we're doing here this is so bizarre <laughs> anyway I don't know it, it don't forget it but we got to give him credit for that a lot of people were saying that it's due to Ozempic a lot of people are saying that it has something to do with um, you know drug interventions or whatever but to be honest dude any person that's able to make this particular type of body transformation in this short period of time or just in general I gotta give them credit for that. That's that's actually incredible. That's insane. It's it's beautiful beyond belief. I did call this out a few months ago. Um, if you check back to any of the older live streams on this channel, I people were asking me what I thought about Nico Avocado. I've been saying this for years that Nico Avocado was just farming the well of mukbangs because mukbangs are very very lucrative here on the YouTube platform and in other platforms as well, such as like tiktok or any other of these platforms especially on tiktok we see a whole bunch of big back women over there eating copious amounts of calories nico avocado being a man within this this particular realm is very very uh it's rare it's very rare seldom do you see dudes of this of this caliber making videos that get millions and millions of views but he was able to do it and that's a beautiful that's a beautiful fantastic thing um, but I always thought that he was just doing it for the money. I always thought that he was just gaining the weight because he saw this well and he milked it until it dried up. <clears throat> and now here he is, um, back after months and months and months. Uh, I knew this was the goal. I always knew this was a goal. You know, gain a lot of weight, eat a lot of food, lose it all, major, major comeback. But we're gonna, we're gonna watch this video today. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit because I think that it's, it's a major transformation. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping. 
to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. I don't know what this whole like monologue is of him talking about how, I guess, I mean, maybe he's just basically saying like, he's such a divisive figure that he all had this planned out to begin with and we're all dumb or like we're insignificant for, I guess, latching onto the story that he chose to give to us. And this was all orchestrated the entire time, which makes sense, by the way. Um, but it wasn't me. I'm totally fine with consuming his content, by the way. I thought he was a very interesting figure. I never really watched any of his mukbangs, though, because I was never really interested in the mouth noises and watching people eat food in general. I'm not really a big fan of it. But overall, um, I'm happy for him. I'm really happy that he chose to lose weight. Uh, a lot of people have been presuming he's, he's been on the Ozempic. Somebody can let me know down below in the comment section. What do you guys think? you think he's on the Ozempic? Do you think that he was... Uh, you, did you think he did this all natural if he was able to do this with just simple diet and exercise? I'm not too sure. But regardless of that, I know a lot of people out there will sit there and shit on Ozempic because Ozempic has a lot of side effects and it costs a lot of money every single month. So I'm like $1,000 for, for the prescription. And it it's not covered by, I don't think, by any uh, medical insurances. Or if it does, it's very limited. And, you know, to be honest, though, I, I don't really care. You know, hey, it is what it is. This guy is a... <laughs> This guy is clearly, he was playing 3D chess with every single one of us, and he was seeing the board from both perspectives, it looks like, and uh, you know what, dude? I'll give him that. The body transformation was unbelievable, and he, the fact that he was able to do it so quickly is, is, is quite beautiful. You are the ants. Yes. And we're all, this is our God. Nico Avocado is our God, dude. Our unholy God of gluttony and overconsumption that chose to gain weight <laughs> over the period of about three to four years. Uh, how much did he get up to? Well, somebody, some people were presuming that he was up in the 500s. And uh, just to do it, just to get the money, just to get the, the views, just to get the clout. And you know what, dude? He did it. He did that. He actually did that shit. A lot of people would be questioning David. Is it really viable for somebody to sit there and destroy their life, to sit there and take away potentially years um, of their life for food? Yes. Uh, what are you talking about, dude? Some people will do literally anything for money. And some people will like cut off their limbs to get even a fraction of the money that Nico Avocado got from this whole ex escapade that he was doing. So 100%, I don't doubt that this man probably thought about it in a very lucrative sense and he decided that I was just going to gain weight. I don't know if, how close to the chest this was to him, if he was disclosing this information to anybody else when he was um, gaining this weight. But I've always been under the assumption that the money was worth it. Why wouldn't it be worth it? People do people do way more for way less. And all he had to do was just eat crazy, ridiculously high calorie denominations of food on camera for many, many years. And a lot of people might be looking at that and going, it just sounds like a terrible life to you. But now look at him here. You know, after the body transformation looks basically the same. I'm sure he has a whole bunch of loose skin. 
Um, but then again, after all the money that he made, medical intervention is a thing. I'm sure he probably deducted a few years off his life. But if he continues down the path that he is right now and he, he diet and exercises consistently, shouldn't be that big of a deal, to be honest, dude. Um, maybe a few years less, I guess. But then again, we all do things. We all have short-term satisfaction for long-term defects. So, um, yeah, this is a pretty, this is an obvious thing. I would do it. You would do it. Don't act like you wouldn't do it. Don't take the moral high ground on this shit. You know you would do that shit. If you were in the same scenario, you would be body washing tons and tons of calories on camera for people to see too. Don't act like you're morally high here. Today, I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Yo. There's still some loose skin I'm looking at right here on the sides here, if you guys can see. Um, but, you know, again, it's whatever. Uh, this dude, you know, again, he could probably just recoup whatever he lost in surgery. Yeah, just yesterday, people were calling me fat True. and sick and boring. Damn. Irrelevant. Damn. Proving everybody wrong. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead of everyone. True. I think, like I said, I think this was the goal the whole entire time. And I'm going to call it out. I knew. I knew, okay? Even if you guys don't want to acknowledge it, I, I was talking to my friends about this for years at a time, dude. I knew he was doing this shit, bro. I think Mr. Noodle really likes being in here. What's that, Noodle? <gasps> What's that? Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is like kind of not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Something slightly unhinged about all this. Oh, Mr. Noodle. Right oh. where the bird was eating, huh? Oh, my God. Here, let me give you your mush. What? Well, here. Try some of this. Okay. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Second video that I uploaded today, so... I hope you guys can appreciate that. This was like breaking news, so I wasn't anticipating something like this to happen naturally, but it did happen, and here we are. Maybe we'll talk about it a little bit more on live stream tonight because I can't really cover everything in a video, but if you catch me live tonight at 6 p.m. EST, maybe we'll be watching this. Maybe we'll be watching other things. Maybe I'll be complimenting you. Maybe I'll be telling you how great you are and how well you brushed your teeth this morning. Very good, by the way. Very nice. Very bright. Very nice, white, shining teeth. Beautiful, amazing, wow, gorgeous teeth. But anyway... If you watch this video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in avocado because it deserves to be said. This man put in a lot of work to lose that weight. He also put in a lot of work to gain the weight. So, And he also put in a lot of work to maintain what he was able to do for as long as he was. I'll give him that. Slow clap. That was not my hands. And that's uh, that's it for today, okay? Uh, I just got to let everybody know that you're an amazing person. You're a beautiful person. You smell really great today. I love the way you use forks and spoons efficiently, and you know how to discern when, when and where to use. A lot of people just kind of interchange forks with everything. You're supposed to use spoons too. Spoons are pretty necessary. But anyway, guys, um, social medias will be linked down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.